Anawak, they've had things going their direction pretty much most of the year. These highlights courtesy of the Anawak Sports Network. Going to pick things up here. Brady Barrier is going to find Talon Cunningham, who is going to leave the Westwood defense in the dust. Touchdown there. It was a 14-0 lead for the Good Panthers. Those are the ones from Anawak, not <laughs> from the ones from Westwood. Now Westwood backed up. Garrett Dodd tackles. The runner there, that is a safety. It's a 19-0 lead. Now, AP inside the five-yard line. It's Lane and Corbin. Of course it is. Off the toss, he's into the end zone. It's a 26-0 lead for Anawak. Now, more from Corbin on the other end of the field. Beat We're him. in the fourth quarter. Two yards out, and he's going to do the rest. Touchdown, Anawak. They are rolling into the area round for the final. 42-14 over those Westwood Panthers. Big test coming Ooh. up next week, taking on the undefeated Franklin Lions, defending state champs ranked number one in the states. It's you got to feel if Coach Neese and Anawak, if they can get past Franklin, that bracket opens up in a major way. Jasper had a real close game with Franklin. Maybe go watch some of that tape or something like that, but that's a tough draw. They yeah. certainly did. Woodville had a very close game against Franklin. Against Franklin. So, when you, st you know, you don't really want to compare games to games, especially non-district games. Yep. But I think when Anawak is healthy and they've got a Landon Corbett who's healthy, mm. they got Barrier, the freshman quarterback. When they are clicking and they are healthy, they can play with anybody in their division. Anything can happen. Feed the big fella in the backfield. Give it to Corbett. Let